all right all right what's going on guys back here with another new video um this is the new rack that i'm getting um not that i need any more racks as i have one two three four server racks um this one is going to be replacing the 27u this is going to house the Mac Pro and a few other things. I haven't really decided just yet um, what all exactly is going to go in here. But this rack is going to be leaving. Um, and this 42U rack is going to be um, the new beefy rack that we use um, instead of this kind of in the way. And it's, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We're, we're not going to be doing this anymore. So the plan for this rack, it's 12U StarTech. It's going to go underneath the desk. Out of the way. I have plenty of space in order to go back and uh, hit the blinds if I want to and um, get back for cable management purposes, but yeah. So, yes, that is what is going on today. Going to be assembling the rack. Um, like I said, it's going to house the Mac Pro. And I think these two Gen 10, oh, let me open this up. These two um, DL3 G10s, these are going to be my AI and machine learning um, servers. These are probably going to be running Scientific Linux. 7.9 I think not really too sure yet I have a diagram of what I I have a diagram of what I want to do so far and um, yeah now the goal for this mini rack is to have all my um, mission critical infrastructure in this rack so um, these two servers will be my primary hypervisors pretty much um, they're going to be running um, scientific Linux 7.9 I think as of right now and then obviously with the hypervisor being libvirt um, slash kvm. So yeah, really excited to get, get started. Um, so that is gonna be in there. Um, as far as the switch goes, we're gonna be using this Nexus switch as our only switch. Um, everything should be connected via 40 gig, including the Mac Pro, which I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, 40 gig switch is gonna be going into the 12 u as well. Um, we have a replacement for this switch coming very soon that's going to go in here that's going to house the rest of this stuff um we're not ditching 40 gig just yet with these guys um but we will have a gigabit connection um obviously up there we will have a gigabit connection and a 40 gig connection in this rack but we will not be having a gigabit connection in the new 12 u rack so enough yapping we put this thing together I don't think I'm going to record me putting this together because it's probably pretty boring, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, several hours later in an absolute mess, absolute mess, but we've got the ruckus in. <laughs> uh, I was going to put it underneath the desk, but I wasn't really happy with the way it was fitting underneath the desk, even with the reduced size of the rack, so I'm going to keep it um, right there on the outside. Um, and yeah, I think I'm done for today. I'm working pretty much all day on um, the G9 and the rack. Um, I've been working for six hours. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go enjoy my Saturday now. Um, well, I've actually been enjoying Saturday. But <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and continue with trying to put this stuff in there. Um, I might go ahead and do that. So the deal with the Mac Pro is the rails are bent. Um, I did buy a new set of rails. Um, 400 freaking dollars for a set of rails is absolutely insane, or three something. Um, I did buy another set of rails for that. Unfortunately, it costs way too much money, but uh, I was able to use the rails that I have. Yeah, like I said, they work, they're just crap. So, <laughs> it seasonally slides up, I think, a little bit um, and before it starts to like choke. But, yeah, and also they don't lock. They don't lock. Um, because the rails are bent so lighting's crap right now it's getting dark outside uh, i'm gonna have to call it quits here in a second as far as filming but i probably will pick this video back up uh tomorrow Alrighty, so it's the next day i did make a lot of progress on the mini rack here um we've got the nexus mounted in as you can see though it is kind of lopsided in there um there shouldn't i shouldn't be able to take my finger like that um, we definitely got some bowing downwards happening, so I'm going to have to find something to reinforce that. And obviously that's because of these, uh, these rack ears are kind of inadequate, so. 
I've got my patch panel here. The router is going to go in this one new slot right here. You guys can see the crappy rails are rearing their ugly head once again. Um, this thing got chewed up when I was trying to put it in. As you guys can kind of see, um, very disappointed about that, but I'm kind of just making do with what I have right now. My new rails won't be here for another, um, I don't know, week or so, so I kind of need to get this knocked out. Um, yeah, and then we got the two, uh, well, the four U space down there for the um, AI GPU servers. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. Um, I can't really go any further right now because I'm waiting for the rails for the router and I'm waiting for rails for the uh, HP Gen 10s plus a whole other bunch of stuff for the G10s. Um, I'd like to assemble them outside the rack before they actually go in the rack. I could start running the fiber cables, but um, the Mac Pro isn't up to spec yet. We still have to make that video of me putting all the guts in the Mac Pro. So this is kind of like a stopping point for right now. So now we can go ahead and focus on the 27U over here, which as you guys can see is an absolute wreck right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, probably stripped down here in a bit because we've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of shuffling to do, so um, those G10s are not obviously not going to be part of the big rack, but the rest of the stuff will be. So I'm thinking about I'm thinking about starting from the very top, and then just kind of working my way down. Um, now we are missing the 40 gig switch for this rack, which I have to buy still. So I think it's going to be the 40 gigabit switch, and then the gigabit switch. Um, I'm not going to do like a like a brush panel because this has the cable management stuff built into the back of it so that's going to be just fine the way it is next up um i think we're going to just go ahead and start with the um the 360 gen 10 hypervisors or the g10 um vm servers so we'll do one two three right there and then we'll start with the g9 right there and then the one d3600 and then another G3600, and that should give us plenty of space for our MacBook Pro kind of terminal machine to uh, rest right here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got as far as updates-wise with that. There's obviously going to be more servers as the time goes on, but yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get started in uh, unracking this stuff. Alrighty, everybody, so this is where we're at. Tons and tons of progress has been made so far. Um, today's Tuesday. I think I last picked up this video, or I last recorded like on Saturday or Sunday. So 27 views pretty much cleared out. Um, we have made the great migration into the monolith, which is right here. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things have came out so far. So, um, shoot, hold on. Jeez, I'm running out of space here. Hold on. Let me move this guy over here. Look at this. This is just insane. I am. I just need to get cleaned up. Goodness gracious, this is so bad. Ah, uh, man. But yeah, here is the new rack. Um, pretty much in its configuration. Obviously, those guys are not um, staying there. These are the two uh, machine learning uh, AI GPU servers. <sighs> okay, so starting from the top, um, this is obviously not complete either. We're missing our Nexus 9K, which is going up here. We got the 3850. Um, these are not staying. These are just uh, I just ran some tests with that. Um, we got the three um, VM servers: the DL360 Generation 10, the DL380 Generation 9, the um, two D3600s, and the four X servers. So. That pretty much comprises the meat and potatoes of what we got here. Um, I'm pretty much at a stopping point now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, yeah, we're pretty much at a stopping point now. Um, as far as cabling and stuff, I'm waiting on the 40 gig switch. I'm waiting for um, fiber cables. I'm waiting for um, power cables. And much of other stuff. So we're pretty much done for right now with this guy. Um, these are all racked in with rails. So as you guys can see, we got rails everywhere pretty much. So I am very, very excited to start uh, 
getting this thing wired up and powered up. So very, very nice. I'm uh, very, very happy with the way this looks so far. Um, this thing's tall. <laughs> I'm having to look up at it because it's taller than me pretty much. Um, yeah, the bottom half of the rack is obviously going to be unpopulated for right now, which is fine. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I can talk a little bit about the terminal machine um, after I change my battery out in the camera. Yeah, this is absolutely crazy. But as I was saying, let's go ahead and get back to the uh, the terminal server here. Well, terminal Mac, I guess. So if you guys are a follower of the channel, you guys are absolutely going to recognize this machine right here. This is my late 2013 MacBook Pro. Um, I've had this machine for an absolute age. This machine actually hasn't even been turned on, really. The machine hasn't booted up into Mac OS since in like hasn't really booted up into Mac OS since like 2021. Boom. Let's see here. Uh let's see if I can find the last time this thing booted up. Yeah, so the last display policy log. Yeah, camera's waking out, but yeah, this is gonna be what we're using to um Kind of just remote into everything, just in case uh, something breaks. We will have a trunk port leaving the 40 gig switch, leaving the 9K going to the 3K down here. Um, for out of band management, I still have to work on the topology for that and um, what interfaces I want to use for that. But that's pretty much all we can do right about now. I don't necessarily have the network configuration solidified yet um that's gonna take some time as i have to really map out vlans and subnets and stuff as well as uh firewall configurations and um a little bit of routing so yeah that's gonna be a fun video for you guys who like network stuff um i know there's some people that don't really like that stuff so if you don't like networking stuff you're probably not gonna want to watch that video because it's probably gonna be like an hour or two long of me just going super deep dive into uh, my network configuration here. But um, one thing I think I did change my mind about, um, this is the tripod for the camera. If you guys are wondering what this was. Uh, one thing I was um, pretty, pretty, one thing I wanted to do was I think I'm gonna mount a, like a small switch on the back of this. I wasn't originally gonna use Gigabit, another Gigabit Ethernet switch here, um, but I think I might have to reason being that there's going to have to be gigabit ethernet ports for management and um for giggy data on the gpu servers um the mac pro also is probably going to need at least one connection but if i come around to the front of this oh, oops let me close this i like this shelf a lot this is so cool got it off ebay it's like an apc net shelter shelf pretty cool stuff um yeah, as you guys can see, there's only four um, 10 gigabit modules or 10 gigabit um, SFB plus ports on the switch, which I'm going to have transceivers in there for gigabit or uh, gigabit Ethernet. So, well, two for 10 gig, one for and then two for one gig, I think, um, or maybe three for one gig and then um, one for 10 gig. I have to map it out, but. Yeah, if I do end up putting a switch, um, we're just using these for trunk ports probably, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got so far, so I'll hit you with an update once I have one. Alright guys, so I did decide to go ahead and put the switch in the back. Um, I got the 48 port um, 3850 over there, and the front, I've got the um, Nexus 3K. So, I just went ahead and decided to put the gigabit switch in to support the 3K because it was leaning. Um, I was going to go ahead and just buy the um, support kit for the Nexus 3K so it can um, be racked all the way down. But I was just like, you know what, let's just uh, let's just do it uh, with what we've got here so far. So uh, I am going to be running gig gigabit connections. I didn't want to, but it is what it is. Um, and it's actually going to be my first time having a switch at the back. So I'm very interested to see how um, this is going to help cable management. But yeah, um, now I think I can go ahead and unbox the, uh, the router and then I'll put it in. That will be a separate video though.